So now consider the following. So I'll say here is E, which is N0, which is a subgroup of N1, da 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 da, a subgroup of NM minus 1, which is equal to NM, sorry, which is a subgroup of NM, which is equal to N, which is equal to G0 no bar. Why is that? Because notice G0 bar is just the identity, right? So that means G0 bar has got to be like N mod N. But if G0 bar is N mod N, then G0 is N, right? Because like, look over here, look, just it's this exactly. G0 bar is the identity. To get the identity over here, the quote unquote numerator has to be the same as the denominator, right? And now we can just keep extending this. So this is a subgroup of G1, da 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 da, a subgroup of Gn, minus one, a subgroup of Gn, which is equal to G. And now if we look closely at this, notice that quotients, quotients here are abelian already, right? By, that's our, our assumption. We're gluing something to the, to the right of something that we know already, right? So that means we need to check the rest of these. So, so we need to check these. So let's look at, for example, GK mod GK minus one. We want that to be abelian, right? But what does the second isomorphism theorem tell us? So this is the same thing as GK mod N mod GK minus one mod N. It's the denominators cancel one. But now this is just GK bar mod GK minus one bar, right? By the correspondence theorem. But this is abelian, which is abelian by our construction of the subnormal series, composition series, whatever you want to call it, of, uh, I guess they're different, but of G mod N.